CAR-T is a very um, interesting strategy uh, in solid tumors, including gastric cancer. So the uh, preliminary data that was presented in, in ASMO last year, uh, coming from China, which is now uh, fully published, uh, does show a very early promising uh, results of using CAR-T in gastric cancer. And there they're using uh, Claudine 18.2 as a, as, a, as a target to make, to engineer the CAR-T. Um, now, the, um, the uh, challenge, okay, which again based on, because one of my other roles is actually treating lymphomas, where I use CAR-T as a standard therapy for my lymphoma patients. So we uh, do recognize some of the uh, challenges that we might face if we treat solid um, cancer patients. So partly is the time from uh, actually uh, harvesting the cells from patients, manufacture the cells and going back to them because all that can take a certain amount of time. And in some of these patients, whether they can wait okay, that long uh, for, for them, for the disease not to progress so quickly and able to infuse the cells back and have enough time for the CAR-T to work. Okay, so uh, I think some of the challenge would be at what time point do we think that we need to start uh, harvesting cells and make CAR-T and uh, store them? Because if you do it too early, then there might be a lot of patients who do not require it for a long time or who may not require it for at all. Okay, but if you're too too late, then they don't they the cancer can't wait enough time uh, for for the patient to be still well enough to uh, gain the benefit from CAR T. So I think there is a, a fine balance between efficacy, uh, the logistic of delivering the treatment, and how long. Uh, you know, how, when and how long you can wait to give the patient the treatment. So I think all these will, um, you know, no doubt the efficacy will be very exciting, but there is uh, many, uh, many things in the, in the balance that we really have to do in order to, you know, deliver this if, uh, treatment to patients.